Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. This is day two in Dallas, Texas. Uh, I'll be working on this Range Rover SVR today. It's beautiful. Well, it'll be beautiful when I'm done. It's badass right now. It's gonna be way nicer when I'm done. So check this thing out. She's a beaut. Nice and dirty. Got those wheelbarrows and everything is dirty. Look at this thing. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Just like I like them. Even with the bird poo. All right, you guys have seen a dirty car before. Cool thing is, this is exposed carbon. The mirror backs are carbon. These little deals are carbon. And then I think there's, yeah, one little strip in the back that's carbon. Super nice car, <clears throat> panoramic moonroof. Uh, we will be doing the interior as well and putting our coatings on the interior. This is such nice interior. Look at all that dirt and rain. All right, well, you've seen a dirty car, you've seen a clean car, but this is going to be a Gary Dean car. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to get this thing prepped, polished, and coated. And we got to get this thing done by around 3 o'clock today. Uh, it is now not quite 9 a.m., so we're going to start knocking this thing out. First off, it's a bath, decontamination, then we start some polishing. Then we're going to spray on some Super 7 Pro and some Triple Trifecta Top Coat. Stay tuned for more. All right, so this is generally not my bag, but I went ahead and did a traditional wash today because it was it was pretty bad. Plus, I, I shipped some soap up here for my client, so I was like, okay, let's use it. Plus, the uh, One System Universal Shampoo smells amazing. It smells like cotton candy, so it's a, a pure delight to use. I mean, you're smelling that cotton candy the whole time you're washing. It's awesome. So um, right now I'm just a, I just pulled out the drying towel and I kind of dried the hood a little bit. You can see the exposed carbon looks awesome. Um, so I'm about to uh, blow it off and then dry everything up. And then while Tony's working on the wheels, uh, I'm going to get ready on the inside to start polishing and that kind of thing while Tony gets on the interior. So that's where we're at right now, washed and clay barred. Uh, he's had this thing for a few weeks and he hadn't washed it. Uh, to my surprise, it was not heavily contaminated. It barely had anything come off on the clay bar at all. So pretty happy about that. So as soon as we get it in, before we start to polish, um, Tony's using Universal Clean and Prep and diluted one part product to seven parts water right there, which is an awesome all around cleaner. So she's cleaning the wheels, the barrels, the brake calipers, the tires, the fender wells, all that stuff. Um, so I don't even know what I was talking about. Uh, oh, I gotta wipe it down with Universal Clean and Prep and then just uh, jump on the polishing. And so that's the plan. As soon as we get it all, get the wheels clean, get this thing dry, I'm gonna pull it in. And then we'll get cranking on the rest of the prep and the polish and we'll bring you back after I get some results. All right guys, we've just completed this brand new 2021 Land Rover or Range Rover SVR and it's amazing. It is absolutely beautiful. We have a little bit of sun. It's kind of over, overcast right now. I'm going to try to get you some shots in the sun. The metallic, the rainbow metallic in this is gorgeous in the sun. Um, but just real quick, the process was the one system package. So if you, if you go to detailjuice.com and you hit the services tab and you scroll down, 
it'll take you to the one system package. Uh, and that's what we did here with a complete interior and coating on the interior. So let me show you this thing. Blang, blang, barrels, brake calipers, face, all coated. 10 years, people. Up to 10 years, depending on how you maintain it. Oh, there's that metallic. There it is. Look at that exposed carbon. Look at this and look at how defect free this thing is. It looks awesome. So what I did because we didn't need to do full correction on this thing, it really was in good shape other than uh, bird poop etching, which was right there, which I got all of it out. It was nasty. Um, that was really the worst part uh, of it. There was a few uh, more like scuffs than scratches. Actually, there were several all over this thing, but uh, I got all of those straightened out. Man, that metallic is amazing. See if we can get some clarity in there. There we go. Looks awesome. Yeah, very happy with how this turned out. I love that exposed carbon on the on the hood here. It's beautiful. Uh, I coated all of the grills, messed around with my fingers in there, and got it all done. There too. Golly. So wash, clay bar, it was not heavily uh, contaminated by any means. Um, it actually was in decent shape contamination wise. Um, so after I washed, I did a traditional wash. It was really dirty. You guys saw that. I went ahead and did a traditional wash because I had mailed some soap up here or um, over here and I uh, figured I'd use it. So I did a traditional wash and I clayed with the soapy water that was already on it. Um, and then after that, we got everything dried, cleaned the wheels really well. And uh, then I polished, but what I did was I did a modified one step deal, which uh, I added one dot of smart cut with two dots of smart p finish for each panel, for each section pass that I did. So um, I was able to get a little bit more correction out of it, which it didn't need too much. So it was perfect, the right amount, uh, but also being able to keep the shine um, with the polish versus, you know, a compound generally would leave a not so stellar finish. So with that combo, one dot of uh, smart, smart cut and two dots of smart finish, I was able to cut a little more and uh, get some great shine out of this thing. So as far as the vehicle goes, it got, how do I explain it? So it's still in the final stages of testing, but what I've, what I've done is I've got Super 7 Pro Hybrid co Coating, which is our ceramic, acrylic, and graphene coating. It's a seven-year coating. And then I also have Triple Trifecta Top Coat, which is a recent release, and it is a three-year coating uh, with, this, with similar technology, but it's got more stuff in it to enhance gloss, depth, and slickness. And so those two together were, or I have told you that they have been my extreme package. However, um, you can't mix those two together. It's two different um, chemical makeups and they don't blend together. 
So what we did, because I wanted something that was a little stronger and glossier than Super 7, I wanted to develop a coating that was a t up, up to 10 year deal and it was one product that gave me all the benefits of Super 7 uh, for the durability and the looks of that, but the incredible glossy, slick, deep look and re very reflective look that Triple Trifecta Top Coat gives. So we've been developing a 10 year coating uh, based on those two technologies and uh, it is coming along quite nicely. In fact, that's what you're looking at. It's amazing. The gloss is incredible. It look, look, look how clear I look and look at all that metallic. That is awesome. That is awesome. This vehicle is awesome. The products I use are awesome. And listen guys, of course I'm gonna say my stuff's awesome. It's got my name on the bottle. But I wouldn't tell you it was if it wasn't. And also, I develop products that work in any environment. We literally just coated this car. Well, it was overcast and that's why I did it outside. Normally I would not, but we did do it outside. Um, not my thing to polish or coat outside, but what I like to show you guys is in a pinch, if you have to, it can be done with my products. Uh, but beyond that, they, they work awesome on a general level. So again, I could talk to you until I'm blue in the face about how awesome my products are at detailjuice.com, but if you just give them a shot, I promise, I guarantee, you're gonna find something unique, something special about my products that you can't find anywhere else. But beyond that, 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number. That's something you don't get from any other manufacturer. I'm the owner and that's my personal cell phone number. Try it, give it a shot, send me a text message, see if you get a response. I will respond to you. Generally, if I'm really busy, it could be up to 24 hours later before I get back to you, but I promise you, I will get back to you. You can find me on Facebook, check out my group, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. We talk about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on, and that is it. So uh, if you wanna be a part of something bigger than detailing, get yourself in there and we will get you learning about the Gary Dean way and I believe that to be the best way, but I would, cause well, I'm doing it and my name's on the bottom. So it is what it is. I just wanna thank you guys for watching these videos and um, without you guys, these videos wouldn't be worth shooting. So I appreciate you. And here's some more of this brand new S. Look at that thing. Goodness. That exposed carbon is badass, honestly. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so very much for taking the time. It's my wife and I's four year anniversary today, not of marriage, but of the day we met. And uh, I'm gonna take her to a nice dinner this evening here in Dallas, show her a good time, cause she's pretty amazing. And she kicked some real ass on this interior today. Oh, that's the other thing I didn't show you. And I'll do that before we wrap it up. This is the interior. Uh, we did put the, I have a new interior coating. Um, it is not the 10 year deal I was telling you about a minute ago. It is different, um, specifically formulated for porous um, stuff like leather and plastic and interiors and that kind of thing. It's incredible UVA and UVB resistance. Seats are awesome. Tony did just an amazing job on this interior as usual. So let's pop in the driver's seat real quick. This video is getting kind of long already, I guess. Beautiful, beautiful car. That's it, guys. All right, and this completes day two here in Dallas for this extravaganza of detailing. We'll be back tomorrow with another video of a 2021 Chevy Colorado. Not a fancy car like this. In fact, I was brought here for a Porsche Macan, 
but it was sideswiped and he had to take it into the shop and have it repaired. Wasn't gonna be done in time. And then he bought his son a new truck. So we're gonna go ahead and swap that out for the Porsche Macan. It's still black. It's still kind of big. We're gonna knock it out. See you guys on the next one. Check out day one, which was the 2019 Porsche 911 Carrera. Uh, and then day three is tomorrow, be that Chevy Colorado. So check those videos out. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.